California's Long Valley Caldera supervolcano had a 4.3 and a 2.7 magnitude quakes today and swarms of about 10 plus. Now I'll give you, we're going to take a look at the maps. You can see this is exactly in the area of Long Valley Caldera. We have a geothermal plant there. It's the very high threat volcano uh, in the series of volcano, very high threat volcanoes on the Walker Lane Fault System of California. And this is a mantle plume that goes from Baja, California, through Salt Lake City, into Yellowstone, and then into Idaho. That's the eastern branch of that mantle plume. The western branch goes under San Andreas Fault and Walker Lane Fault System. This is it here. As you can see, the pins there, That the bottom pin is basically um, Ridgecrest, and the rest are uh, Long Valley Caldera area, Walker Lane, right there. These were about uh, a couple of months ago. This is a, a, la a larger view of the area of Long Valley Caldera. And uh, the biggest super eruption was about 760,000 years ago, the Bishop Tuff. Let's take a look at the map so we can see what's going on there. And we'll go to our uh, Sizewell Berkeley. And this is the uh, 2.7, 4.3. Right there, this is the area of Mono Lake, Long Valley Caldera. There are shallow earthquakes. Uh, this is Mono Lake of the Long Valley Caldera, right here, Long Valley. Sorry, put it up again. Okay, Long Valley Caldera. Right there, Mammoth Lakes. And um, if we go to our earthquakes of today, the past week is yellow. And the past day is blue, and it'll take a few seconds to load. Because there's quite a lot of earthquakes, as you can see. Okay, this is the border of California with Nevada. This is the Long Valley Caldera supervolcano, all of this here. And this is what the swarm that we're talking about. And pulling out, this is the, the San Andreas Fault right there, and that's the Walker Lane Fault System. This is Ridgecrest right here, Long Valley here, and these are the Nevada quakes. We've been having hundreds of them. Uh, as you can see, something is going on there. Basically, it's from a southwest to northeast orientation this way, um, just spreading out from uh, this area of Long Valley. And this is the actual area of the map we're talking about. And where the legend was is where we had the Nevada quakes. The legend here on this map is basically the Nevada, the California Nevada border. And uh, but we'll we'll talk about Nevada later. But we're looking at what's going on right here in Long Valley today. Of course, this is the same mantle plume. This is the same magma. Uh, we know that uh, there are tremendous about nine uh, volcanoes in Nevada. And if we just push out to see the greater map. This, there are nine, eight volcanoes south of Salt Lake City, and there is, oh, we had a bigger quake there as well, too, in Idaho, four magnitude. And um, that mantle plume that we saw before goes up into this imaginary seven right here from the Baja area through Yellowstone, sorry, through Salt Lake into Yellowstone, and then uh, goes west into the Idaho, Idaho area. Idaho, this area here has nine volcanoes. So, eight volcanoes, nine volcanoes, eight volcanoes here, and this whole area, area here is filled with volcanic fields. And now we know Yellowstone is a supervolcano, and we're talking about the other supervolcano in, in uh, California. Let's go to our shake map. Oh, no, let's look a little bit more about uh, Long Valley. Okay, large 17 by 32 kilometer Long Valley caldera. East of the central Sierra Nevada range is a result of a giant explosive eruption that happened about 670,000 years ago and formed the widespread voluminous Bishop Tuff. The caldera has been showing unrest in recent years in the form of deformation. It's been increasing, uh, uh, inflating that is, of the caldera floor and earthquake swarms. It contains numerous hot springs and fumaroles in order to better study and monitor the caldera and possible future changes, USGS established the Long Valley Observatory. 
and this is the general map of it as we can see and uh, more, more pictures of it here now let's go into our okay that's our map the red is the past hour the red the red spots are the past hour let's go into our shake map 42 people report, reported feeling it even though there's not that many people living out there this is our shake map go to our shake intensity okay and um, and our uh, population density as you can see there's hardly anybody living there let's take out the population so we can see it more okay and then put in our tectonics and us faults and we'll go into our basically it's across to, from san francisco bay all right let's go into our so you can see much better go to the aerial okay as you can see that's mono lake right there that's mono lake that thing there so it has shaken shaken up this whole area okay and uh, going back to our topographic okay basically the uh Sierra Nevada, Sierra National Forest. Okay, as we said, no, but 42 people reported it, and there's not that many people living there. Again, population density. Okay, maybe some people here around Stockton, Modesto, California. Okay, uh, that's uh, Reno, Nevada. Um, obviously, it has shaken up the area. It has shaken up the area that we saw before having to do with the Nevada earthquakes out here, out here. That has definitely shaken up the area that we've had in the Nevada earthquake swarms. So something looks as if it's going on there. This is the 2.7 that we had after that. Nobody reported feeling that. There's no uh, shake map there. It's just that, it, you know, basically, uh, it's in national park areas. So this is the situation here. Um, that's a very strong earthquake, 4.3. And it's in the area, of course, of the Long Valley Caldera Supervolcano. And the, as we said before, the, the uh, Nevada earthquakes, let's take out, let's see the bigger ones. Okay, because there are hundreds of them there. Today, the blue, hundreds of them. And, uh, okay, let's see, it'll take a few seconds. Okay, here we go. And since we're here, let's look at the Nevada. Okay. Uh, this was uh, 3.2 and 3.5. So they're not that small, as you can see. Five people reported that. Let's see the shake map of that. The shake map, shake intensity and go to aerial and again uh okay that's not far from uh, but that with that the 2.7 of course um what was that 2.7 did we see no 3.5 um that was not that it did not really shake up um, uh the area of long valley but it's very close as we could see 3.5 3.2 4.3 they're not that small so something is going on here. As we know, that's magma under there. Uh, Long Valley has a geothermal plant, just like Ridgecrest has a um, geothermal plant. And um, obviously because there's a hot magma on there, under there, and that's why they're getting the, that's where they're getting the, uh, the heat from. So all of you there, please be very careful. Thank you for your support. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. 
more of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.